Stampers, Deb Velder here, your Fun Stampers Journey Coach, and today I'm going to bring you the most spectacular sneak peek ever. I've got a couple of things I want to show you, but I first want to show you this new catalog from Fun Stampers Journey. It is absolutely gorgeous, and if you think that the cover is good, you should see all of the things on the inside. I am fresh back from convention, and I just am so pumped and so excited because this is spectacular. A lot of new things in here. Um, I will be doing a catalog launch just shortly. I don't want to do it too soon. I'm going to do a catalog launch very shortly, so make sure you stop back and see that because there's some not wanting to miss things in there. All right, so the, the sneak peek that I'm going to give you today is um, there's quite a few things in this card right here that you might not be aware of. Um, and one of them and is this die right here. So this is the die that I want to show you about. I want to teach you how to use it. It is just spectacular. All right, so let's bring in our grid paper and get started because um, it is a great little um, piece right here. So the stamp set that I'm going to use is a couple of them, and they're from a new collection, and it's all about embroidery. All right, so that is the up and coming thing right now, and Richard is the first one to introduce this. So the embroidered rose is the first stamp that I'm going to use, and I'm going to use a lot of the little pieces that go with it. Um, there's eight, there are nine stamps in this set, and it also has a die. All right, so um, all of these stamps have the die to go along with it. Um, a matching piece is is the embroidered greeting set and you can see that it's got all the little stitchings we have paper we have everything that matches but I don't want to give away too much of it too soon so this is all I'm going to show you remember it's called a sneak peek for a reason all right you can start to buy these on July 1st but you can pre-order your catalog now so if you want this lumptious little catalog now go over to my website at www.funstampersjourney.com slash Deb Valder and put in the code CL-0025 and you'll get yours way before I could ever get it to you. And then on July 1st, um, you'll be able to see it um, in person. All right. So um, these are the two stamp sets that I'm going to use, but I also wanted to show you a couple of other things. This is the piece that I'm going to feature today and it's called Designer Frames Die Set. It is the most magnificent thing ever. Um, it's a die that has the window frame, but you can add these pieces to it. So what do I mean by that? Um, it's kind of deceiving. You think that um, this is a layer on top of this layer right here, when in reality, oh, I don't have one just cut out, but um, in reality, and I'll do that in just a moment, um, this is all one piece. The congrats is um, added to this piece right here. You can use the words on top, and, and in here there are several words that you can use. There's happy birthday, um, there's thanks, and there is congrats. And um, we also have a little belly band. So these are all the, the, uh, the little pieces that you can use for this, um, for this uh, uh, die right here. So this is what the belly band looks like. All right. And then you can just put your embellishment right on here, but it looks like a little belly band and you didn't have to cut it. Here's the word thanks. And then we have congrats, and you can put, like I said, you can put the words on the top or the bottom, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, if it's on the bottom, you know, um, you can put your images down here or up on the top, and, and vice versa. So this is the one that I have that's on the bottom. Um, it's just a really fun die, and I wanted to show it to you because... Um, I wanted to. This is one of my favorite things in the catalog. I'm also going to um, feature our new little fashion silver and fashion gold um, little dots right here. And these are just like pearls, but in silver and gold. They are spectacular. All right, so let's get started. Let's start by cutting out our frame. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my Amaze machine and get this out of the way. I'm going to bring in my Amaze machine right here and I'm going to bring in my die. So for this die, you're going to need, all right, so this is what it looks like. I love our little pouches because this is where I keep all of my extras. And when I do these things, you know, I always, always, always do extras so that when I'm, I'm putting together a card, um, I can do that. I can just take out um, some pieces and not have to get everything out. So this one right here, I actually cut off the word birthday from the um, die after I got it cut out. And I'll show you what I mean by all of these, but um, I just wanted to kind of show you that that's where I keep all my little extra things. All right, so let's grab our... Um, the dies that we need for this, and I'm going to use um, both frames, and I'm going to use uh, the birthday 
because you can never have enough birthdays, all right? And we'll put the rest of it over to the side over here. All right, now let's get out our plates. So you're going to need your magnetic platform, and you're going to need your two cutting pads. All right, so here's one, and here's the other. So now we're just going to take and put our frames on here like this. All right, so I like to keep like I like to keep them nice and even, and there's a reason for that, and I'll show it to you after I do it. Um, you can actually use the frame on the outside of it. You can use the frame, um, the frame from the frame. All right, so we've got that nice and even. We're going to take and now and run it through. I just like to have. There we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to run it through, and I'm going to do both of these because I want to show you um, two different ways that you can do this. Alright, so there's our first piece. Now watch, when we take this off, it's really important to show you that you can use your frame for something else, but this is not detached, okay? So you want to make sure that you see that this is not detached, alright? So that's our first piece. I'm going to run it through one more time because I want to show you two different ways that you can do this. Alright, so let's put our piece on. Let's put our frame on. And like I said, I like to just make it nice and even because I can use this frame afterwards. All right, and then just put this little guy on. And like I said, this time around, it doesn't matter whether it's on the top or the bottom, just cut out your frame. And then what determines what's going to be the top and the bottom is when you place your um, next die. All right, the congrats, the thanks, the uh, birthday. All right. So right here, we're just going to lay that in there, get it nice and even, and let it roll. Now, you can cut out a bunch of these and have these put in, aside in your little envelope also. That's why I love our, um, our journey uh, boxes that, that hold all of our, our stamps and whatnot because um, it's also like a storage pouch. All right, so here we have both of our... Um, pieces. I'm going to save this die. Like I said, I like to use these for other things. And um, so now we have both of our pieces that have the little, um, the little uh, gap right there. All right. So let's grab the word birthday from our set. And what you're going to do is you're going to take these little lines right here. Okay. Can you see those? You're going to take these little lines right here and you're going to line them up. Now you don't have to be too particular with it um, because uh, you want to just make sure that they're, they're somewhere in between here and here. Now, what I like to do is I like to just make sure it's lined up side to side, nice and even. And then when you roll it through, all right, you can kind of feel where it grabs on the inside. The groove ends up in the groove. I hope that makes sense, all right? So we're just going to lay that side to side like that and then put on our cover. And I like to just go top hold it to the bottom, all right, and then nothing moves. And now we're just going to cut that piece out. All right. I don't know why I always do it two times, but I do. Now watch, this just falls right out, okay, and then so does this piece right here, all right. There you go, and there's your word birthday. Now this one is done on the bottom, okay? And now I'm just gonna take my little bloom tool and poke those out, but I'll do that after we get um, after we get the piece together. So you wanna save these, this piece. This piece you can use for Herman Munster hair or something, okay? Because that's pretty cool. Don't, you know, I, all right, I'm not gonna throw it away. But let me just show you. So that one we did at the, um, at the bottom, which is different than the ones I've been showing you, and now we're going to do it at the top. So what you want to make sure you do is, if we want it on the top like this, we've just got to make sure that the word birthday goes the right way. So, my B is over here, we're going to take and, and uh, lay it down this way. Alright, so I'm just going to lay it again, side to side, somewhere within those grooves, and... We're just going to run it through. See how I have it nice and even on each side? And now what I'm going to do is just run it right through. All righty, here we go. Just wait a minute. Hold on. Let's grab. I just like to have it nice and even so it's going to be straight, you know, straight side to side. 
All right, so just double check, make sure you're doing good, and here we go. I always run it through two times. I'm not sure why you don't have to do that. It, it cuts really well, but I'm just in such a habit of doing that. And there's my birthday on the top. Isn't that pretty cool? All right, so this piece just comes out like this. All right, and then, whoops, there we go. And then this piece comes out from the bottom. Remember to save this piece, and I'll show you why as we get going. So let's just take now, all right, and um, get my Amaze Machine out of there because I think we're done with that. And we'll go on to the next step. Here we go. Let's grab all of our pieces. I want to save that piece right there. Um, and I'll show you why. It's, um, I think it's kind of important, but um, whoops, let's go right straight up here. All right, so are you excited about our sneak peek? Are you excited about our new catalog? Make sure you get it before it's, um, before it's out. So pre-order it is what I'm saying. Definitely pre-order it. And see, everything is so clean. Nothing is, nothing is out, you know, stuck in the, the dye or whatever. It's a really, really good dye. All right, so let's just grab these right here. So there's my birthday on the bottom, and there's my birthday on the top. Let's bring them both back in here. And the one thing that you have to do is to just take your bloom tool, which is an amazing tool. Remember, we have seven tools to go along with this. It's not just a brush. It's not just a pokey thing. They're not separated. Um, and then all you do is you just take these and change them out. So if I wanted to change it out for one of the other tools, I just change it out by um, lifting down this little bar right here and making sure that um, it just locks in there. And that's all there is to it. But it's an amazing tool. Make sure you have yours. Um, and then what I'm doing is just, I could actually probably do these just with my hand, all right? And then you're just going to pop out the uh, the middle ones. I only had two of them that weren't popped out, all right? So that is, whoops, that is uh, our little pieces right here, all right? So there's those. Let's do this one too, just because I like to have them both ready to go. So now what I'll do for this one is I will put it into my... Um, I will put it into my little pouch and I'll have it an extra one for, whoops, this one's giving me a little bit of a hard time and I'm not sure why. I've never had the D give me a hard time before. All right, there we go. All right, so just poke it out with your little bloom tool and you're good to go. There we go. I don't know why it was stuck. All right, so there we go. And um, there's our happy birthday. All right, so now how do we put this all together? So for this one, I'm going to do something a little bit different. This one is exactly like this one. And remember what I said? It kind of is an optical illusion. It looks like this one's put on top of a layer when it's really not. It's just um, the frame that's around this piece right here. So now remember I was telling you you could take and you could just cut this out. So you could use this just for... Um, you can use this piece just for the words itself, so that's kind of neat too. So let's get that going onto our card, our card base, because um, that is what we're going to do next. All right, so let's grab some of our um, Journey Craft glue, and like I said, it's the best on the market. You're not, you're going to just absolutely love it if you've ever done this before. I'm going to grab a scrap sheet of paper just in case I get some where I don't want it to be, and I don't want to get that surface dirty. So. Um, because I have some more to show you. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and I'm going to stroll this along just like this. All right? And just, that's what's so nice about this. It just comes out so easy. Um, we do have another end also. Some people don't even realize that, that there's a fat end. If you ever need a fatter end to, um, a fatter end to, to make bigger projects, so there is a, a fat end also. All right, so now we want to put a little bit here on our words so that they don't pop up. All right, just like this. Now, the next step that I'm going to show you after this is, is to me, very important. You know, there's no directions for this, but, I, you know, I'm always trying to give you very helpful um, tips and techniques right? Well, this one I think is really pretty important, um, to me anyway. Remember I told you to save this little piece right here? Um, let me just grab the right one. There it is. Okay, and the reason I say that is because, um, there we go, it's the right one here. Um, the reason I'm saying that is because this is the one that goes with this piece right here. All right, that goes with that one. I needed the one for the top. 
All right, so I found that and um, save these because you're going to see how um, beneficial it is right now. So I can get this out. See, I didn't make any mess, but just in case I did, I can get that out of the way. And now what I want to do is to add this piece right here. So what I like to do is to... Um, start wherever the word is because that has more substance to this and I'm just going to take and hold this part up and lay this down all right and all I'm doing is centering it side to side top to bottom all right don't lay it totally down yet but just kind of look at it now this is where this one piece comes in very 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 handy all right I am literally going to take and put this back in here and the reason I do that is because this is so fragile, you could actually skew it. So in order to get it perfectly, 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 perfectly um, square, you just put this back in and nudge this until you have it nice and even. And it's helping you get it centered side to side, top to bottom. All right, I'm just going to push this over like that. I love this die. It is so much fun to play with, okay? And you see how everything just falls into place, just like, and it's nice and square now. Like I said, you can skew it um, very easily if you don't have something to put back in there. So that's Deb's little tip. You know I always try to give you tips. So watch from beginning to end, because there might be more, all right? So here's my little um, birthday. It is attached to my bottom. You can actually pop it up if you want to use, um, you know, just cut some of your journey foam squares. If you wanted to pop it up, you could do that too. Um, but I just wanted to leave it flat. Now I'm going to do one more thing different from this card right here, and that is to add some words, all right? So the stamp set that I'm going to use is this happy birthday stamp, and it's called Date Me. There literally are 50 three stamps in this stamp set. Shut the front door. There are 53 stamps in this stamp set. Um, you know, it is just such a versatile stamp. The happy and the birthday come separately. You've got your, um, you know, for a little baby, you know, how, how big they were, how much they weighed, um, how we, how many weeks old they are. This is just, it's good for scrapbooking. It's good for card making. It's just a really good set to have. It's called Date Me. It's a very, very new um, SS0494. All right. And I'm going to use the word happy from here. I'm going to bring in some of my coordinating in, in, ink. It's um, the pomegranate splash because that's what my background is and I'm just going to take and stamp the word happy up on top. Now I'm doing this before I do all of my flowers because I want to make sure that I fit my flowers within. I might not even use all of my flowers. So I'm just going to take and uh, stamp the word happy up here on top and that's what's nice about this is that you can kind of coordinate things to go along with them um, and that's what I'm doing here. All right, so now I've got my whole base. Let's, let me show you how to do my flowers, and this is so much fun, all right? So what I'm going to use for this are my pan pastels, and I'm going to use um, two colors. This one is going to be the, um, the deep lilac, and I'm also going to use the fresh, or the, um, yeah, the fresh forest, um, and these are from two different um, sets, okay? This one's from the um, Rich Sorbet, and this one's from the um, Mother Nature collection, all right? So let's just take and grab these. Okay, and I'm going to grab my ink and some scrap paper. So let me just show you, I do one flower at a time. I'll cut them all out at the same time, but I'll do one flower at a time. Let me show you what I mean by that. All right, I'm going to bring in my pomegranate splash. Here's my rose, and let's begin. So I'm going to use one of our little wands, and I'm going to ink up the rose. And I do one at a time, and you'll see why. All right, so I'm just going to take and stamp this right here. And now I want to get my pan pastel on here before it totally dries. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take wherever there is some... Um, wherever these little lines are for the embroidery, I'm just going to take and add some of my pan pastel and just kind of feather it out. You know, just like this. I'm just feathering it out. So I'm going to take a little bit more. And what that does is it actually takes 
and you can use the tip also okay to get into smaller spots but what it does is it gives it a little bit of um, dimension you see what I'm doing and when it's wet like this it absorbs so nicely so I'm just gonna take this and just run it so that I'm feathering it just like that so let's do the, the tip again because we've got a little tiny spot. And what I'm doing is just following right where the um, where the uh, the lines are closer together, and then I feather out where it is kind of um, poofed out. Does that make sense? All right. See how and the color absorbs into um, the actual ink. Do a little bit of tip right there, and. Now look at the difference between the two. This is gorgeous all by itself, but when you add your pastel to it, it just makes it pop. Now I'm going to do the tip for the inside here because that's pretty dark. All right. Now the other thing that you can do, and I do like to do this also, is to add a little bit of color from my ink pad. Now, you're going to say, oh my goodness, she's already got color onto her sponge. Why would she do that? And that's just to mix the two of them together. And let me show you what I mean by that. Let's get this one going here. Feather, feather, just kind of wisp it out. And see how it just all comes together really, really, really nicely? Now let me just go one step farther. I'm going to take this and I will only work from one corner, all right? Um, because I am, I am actually um, putting two different mediums together, all right? And I don't want to ruin my pad, whereas I can just wipe it off. But um, I'm just going to take and put a little bit of that and it mixes with the pan pastel and look at how beautiful this comes to life when Richard says we're bringing paper to life it really really um, is true <sighs> alright now if you've made a mistake I want you to go to an art store um, and and just grab yourself one of these um, erasers and what they are are just a, a rubber eraser that um, moves and it's a kneaded eraser that's what it's called it's a kneaded eraser and you clean it by just literally pulling it apart but if you have a part where you just you don't like this it's too dark you can erase what you did with the pan pastels it's always good to have one of these if you have pan pastels all right so you can erase as much or as little as you want so there's that one now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, I'm going to do the smaller rows, all right? There are so many pieces to this little stamp set right here. Um, it's amazing. I want to go a little bit farther apart because we are going to cut them out with the Amaze machine, all right? And uh, I'm just going to go in really quick and color these. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the long stemmed rows, okay? So all that I'm going to do, instead of using my pan pastels first, I'm going to take my daubers. These are the new mini daubers, and I have one for each color. I add them to the bottom of my ink pads um, so that I know that these are for ink, and I do this for the bottom of my, um, my pan pastels also. So I'm just going to take and I'm going to dauber up the, well actually I like to start with the green, so I'm going to go with the fresh forest and dauber this up okay and I'm gonna grab it's just an easy way you don't need markers when you have tools like fun stampers journey um, holds uh, this is just so much easier than using a marker to this so you just daub on the color I love these little guys they're so awesome alright so there's the green that's the fresh forest Forest, and this is the pomegranate splash. So I'm just daubering on the color. Now look at all that you've learned, hopefully, in this video. I love to teach, and um, in my videos, I like to show you as much as I know. Did I make it all up? No. But do I share it with everybody? Absolutely. And you don't even have to huff on this because our ink stays wet. So there's no huffing in this. And now see the difference between the two of them? So yes, of course, we have to um, add some darker color to this to make it pop.
and you can do as much or as, as little of this as you want. I just like it because it makes it look so much more detailed and it gives it so much more depth and it's not, it doesn't take very long at all. All right, see the difference? Now let's do that to the green. So I'm just going to go in with my pan pastel and just do a little bit here. See, look at the difference. Look at the difference. It just makes a world of difference. And you can get as detailed as you want with the point of this. All right, and then just bring it down. All right, just give yourself a little bit of color on the stem. All right, and there we go. All right, so now what we're going to do is cut those out, and um, I'll be right back. So I've got my pieces right here that I've cut out. Now what I need to do is to do our leaves, and I'm going to do a bunch of them. If I need them all, I will use them all, but if not, I will stick them in my little pouch, and I will have um, some for the next project. So I have a bunch of different leaves with this one, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to bring in my Fresh Forest um, Pan Pastel, and I'm going to show you how much of a difference this makes. Do you see the difference between the two of these? Just absolutely gorgeous. And I like to do it while it's wet, so the ink, I mean, so that way there, um, the uh, Pan Pastel adheres to it, and it just makes it pop so much more. All right, so there's that one. So that's the three leaves. There's so many pieces to this one. This one has two leaves. All right, let's see the difference between the two of them. Whoops, it makes such a difference. All right. If I wanted to bring in a little bit of my ink pad, I can do that too, just like I did on my roses. All right, and that makes it just a little bit darker even yet. And it blends everything so nicely. That's what I love about this. It just, whoops, now let's do our single leaf. I'm not sure how much we're going to do, but how much we're going to use. All right, so we'll put that one right there. And I'm going to go and cut these out, and I will be right back. All right, so now I have all my pieces cut out. It's time to put our card together. So let's grab the card base. And remember, I'm doing this one a little bit different than this one because um, I wanted to show you how you can use it on the bottom and the top at the same time. Yeah, or at, you know, at different times. But anyway, so this is what we're going to do. So let's just kind of, and this is the fun part, is now just creating um, spaces for all of your, your um, pieces. So let's put that one there. We can take and use not all of this, but some of it, and put that right there. All right, and then how about if we put this one right over here? So I think I'll, this one I popped, this one right here, but this one I think I'll pop that one. All right, so with that being said, then we can take and put our little leaves wherever we want to. So I might put this one right here. Uh, let's see. Well, let's get, our, let's get our flowers down. We're going to start with this one, and I'm going to use my Easy Glide on that. So I have my Easy Glide, and that's going to fill up that little spot right there. And then my big one, I think I will pop this one. So what I like to do when I pop things up and flowers is to just curl them. All right, so I'm just going to curl the edges with my crease tool. See right here? Crease, crease. There we go. All right, and just lay that on there like that. I want to see some of that green up there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to nestle that in between. And we're going to get out one of our medium foam squares. Uh, here they are. And I'm just going to put one right there in the middle so it doesn't um, skew any of my, uh, my um, folding right there. So what I'm doing is nestling that right in between there like that. Super cute. All right. And then this is a big spot, so maybe we'll just add this one right here. Now that's going to take all of them, so let's do this one. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to pop that one up too. Again, because of the size of these, and they are just the best foam squares ever, um, I only need one. All right, so I've just kind of nestled that around that like that. So we've got some green coming out of there, we've got some green coming out of there. And this one right here, I'm just going to lay 
Well, maybe I will put it underneath. And what do you think? And then put a leaf out there. Not bad, not bad. That's what I think I will do. So, that's the fun part of this, is just trying to figure out what goes where the best. So we're going to put that there. And then, do I want the big one? Do I want the little one? I think I'll throw that right there. I'm not going to pop it up, so I'm just going to use my Easy Glide. And you just saw how I create a card. Okay, see how I kind of nestled that in between there and there? And goodness, I have one left over here, so how about... If we stick that one, yeah, I like it right here. So I'm going to take and put some Easy Glide on that. Stick the little tail underneath there. Do I like it there or don't I like it there? Maybe add it so that it goes right under. No, I like it. Let's see. Ah, there we go. That did it. Ta-da! Now, these are two cards that were made exactly the same um, with the same pieces, but what I did was um, I just put the birthday at, the different, at a different spot. I love the way this came out. And um, for this one right here, I added some, and I'm going to get them. Hmm, do I want silver or do I want gold? I think I will go with the silver. And... I am going to get a bunch of these because they are just so awesome. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these because I feel like I've got a little naked spot down here on the bottom. I'm going to put one there. I'm going to take, because there's three different sizes, and I like to do things in threes. One, two, and this little guy right here we're going to put right there. Ta-da! Isn't that cute? All right, so I've got my little guys on there. And then for this one, what I did was I just put some, um, some journey glaze on it. And after I did the journey glaze, um, I just added some sparkle cuts to it. So it looked like little dew drops. But those are the two cards that I have for today. I hope you enjoyed my post. Hop on over to my blog because there's a lot more inspiration. And please make sure you order your catalogs now so that you have it by the time I'm up and running. Um, again, check in a few days for my sneak peek, um, uh, more sneak peeks, and also for my catalog launch. I'm waiting for the right day to do it, and you'll see why, okay? You take care and have a great day.